Ahoy, welcome to Czech with Katrina. I'm a teacher of Czech for foreigners and this is the first lesson of a course designed to get you from zero to level A1 in Czech. In this lesson we will study together the pronunciation and you will find out that you actually understand a lot of this language already. So take a pen, print out the handout from the link down below and let's get started. Let's take a look at some common Czech words. I think you will find that you already understand many of them even if you haven't learned any Czech. Really, you will. Let's read them together. Repeat after me. Bar, hamburger, banan, mapa, krem, yogurt, moderní, problem. Now pause the video. Take the handout that you printed in the beginning of this class and write an English translation next to all the words that you understand. Now you can check if you were correct. Now let's take a look at some Czech vowels. You can already see that we have the same vowels in Czech as we have in English. Thanks God, right? They're pronounced A, E, I, O, U. Also in Czech, each vowel can be written with a long sign above it. These vowels are pronounced in the same way, but longer. You hold the sound twice as long, simply. Let's compare the pronunciation using some common Czech words and this time please do not focus on the meaning of the words. Simply repeat after me and just focus on the long and short of the vowels. Bar, ambasada, mapa, banan, praha. Kava, lampa, kavarna. Could you hear the letters with the long sign, how they were dragged out and made longer? Let's take a look at some other words with the other vowels, yeah? So, ballet, problem, metro, discoteca, hotel, Mléko, ne, krém, pivo, víno, kino, prosím, minuta, moderní, typ, Londýn, soda, Gol, voda, ton, policie, solo, yogurt, moda, yogurt, sul, ketchup, úkol, unie, dům. Hopefully you could hear the slight difference in the length of the letters with a long sign and now it's time to play. Take your hand out and go to the exercise number three. Read through the words and try to guess uh, the meanings of as many words as you can. Write the English translation next to them again. And don't worry if you guess the meaning of some, but you don't guess the meaning of some other. We will go through all of these words together after. Now, please pause the video again and come back after finishing this exercise. Bar. Ambasada, Mapa, 
banan praha kava lampa kavarna balet problém metro diskotéka hotel mléko ne krém pivo víno kino prosím minuta moderní typ Londýn soda gol voda tón policie solo jogurt moda jogurt sůl ketchup Úkol, unie, dům. Well done, and now I have a couple of important tips for you. First, the long sign above the vowels shows that these vowels are pronounced longer, but be careful, it doesn't show the stress of the word. It only show how long is it. And second, why and God, why do we have these long signs? Uh, the length is actually really important in Czech because it often changes the meaning of the word. For example, bit means apartment, but beat means to be. And third tip, the letters I and Y are pronounced completely identically. Yeah, I is called soft I and Y is called hard I, but they are both pronounced in the same way. We will learn more about these letters later. Another thing, you may notice that in Czech there are sometimes two vowels next to each other. Actually, that's also in English, but whatever. These are called diphthongs and they are pronounced like this. O, for example, in a word, naschledano, that means goodbye. Naschledano, naschledano. Au, in a word, auto. Auto, that's a car. Eu, in a word, euro, euro. Unlike in English, in Czech every vowel is pronounced. Vowels are not merged into one sound. So while in English is pronounced euro, in Czech we pronounce it euro. Just remember that in Czech every vowel is pronounced clearly. And now let's practice together pronouncing long and short vowels. This exercise you will find also in your handout as exercise four. Don't focus on the meaning of the words. Simply read the words before me this time, yeah? First you and then me. And don't worry, you will hear me reading right after you so you can check if your pronunciation was correct. Focus only on the length of the vowels. Banan, ambasada, kavarna, kava, den, krem, problém, lekce, ne, kemp, Desert, pivo, vino, prosím, byt, být, policie, voda, solo, soda, gol, Moda, policie, 
dawn. Get up. Sul. Naschledanou. Great, well done. Now let's play a memory game. You will see six pictures come up on the screen. Pause the video and try to name as many of these in Czech as you can. Yogurt, banan, vino, mléko, voda, kava. Congratulations, this has been your first Czech lesson. Before continuing to the next lesson, make sure to complete the lesson one homework. First of all, in your handout, you will see homework section. I prepared some fun activity to go over what you have learned today. And number two, go over all of the new words that you've learned today using the online memory tool. There you will be able to practice all the new vocabulary in a fun and interactive way on your laptop or on an app on your phone. I hope you enjoyed learning with me today. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, if anything was unclear or just say hi and let me know that you're learning. If you like the lesson, please go ahead and like the video and subscribe to not miss any of my future lessons. With that said, have a great day, keep learning, keep studying, and I will see you in the next lesson.